Hello. On the Chag Sukkot, we invite Dush Pizin Kadishin, the seven special guests that come to, to visit each and every Sukkah, as long as they are invited. The Zohar explains that those guests come, and each day it has its own special guest that comes as a guest of honor and brings also with him the other six guests as the order of the Avot HaKadoshim, the first night Avraham, second night Yitzchak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, the Yosef, and David. And therefore, one must invite them. As the Shlach HaKadosh says that when you enter the Sukkah, you come into the Sukkah, you stand by the Sukkah, and you invite the Ushpizim. And this is how it says in the Gemara that Rav Amnuna Sava used to stand by the Sukkah and invite those Ushpizin Kaddishin. Says the Zohar, Kshatam Yoshev Betzel Ze, Tu Tzela Emuna, Sukkah is considered Tzela Emuna, the shade of the belief of the Emuna in Akadosh Bohu, Tzila de Hemenuta, Ashkina Poresek Nafe Alav Milemala, Ashkina Kadosha of HaKadosh Baruch Hu spreads his wings, so to speak, on that sukkah, on that person, and therefore Rabbi Abba says that those Ushpizin, Avraham, and Chamesha Tzadikim, and David HaMelech, Paim Ladurimo, and that he learns from the Psukim. And the Mateh Ephraim says that whenever Hashem Maaseh enter the sukkah, they should call the Ushpizin and say, as you find in the Machzor, Tivu Shpizin, sit down Shpizin, Tuvu Tuvu, and, and you are invited, come in to the Sukkah. You should say it in a nice voice, in a loud voice. And the Sod, Veshor Shavoda, writes down that you must invite openly with your mouth. And if you don't do that, they don't come. You must invite each and every day the guest, the special guest, in his own name. And you say, today, for the Ushpizin that belong to that day. And he says that one should do so every meal, the day and the night, invite those Ushpizin. The Shla Kadosh writes in the name of the Zohar that one must not greet those Ushpizin with a sad face, angry face, and while he's there in the Sukkah, he should be with a happy face and a smiley face and a good spirit in order for the Ushpizin to stay there. Each day, the Rashid Chokhmah writes, is a special guest and therefore a special simcha, a special happiness should be shown to each guest on each and every day. It's more than that, that the Chidah Kadosh writes that one should prepare a chair for the Ushpizin, just like we prepare a chair for Eliyahu Navi by the Brit. Otherwise, it doesn't come over here also. You're preparing a chair for the Ushpizin to be able to come in. Otherwise, they don't have a place to sit. You have to greet them in an honorable and respectful and nice way. And therefore, one should say that though this chair is for the guests that come today to visit us. And the Kafa Chaim says that one should say with his mouth, zain Ushpizin ilain kadishin. And the Nusach that we say before we enter the Sukkah is Ulu Ushpezin Ilain Kadishin. Come in, the special guest, holy guest, Ulu Avahan Ilain Kadishin, our fathers, our forefathers, Lemitav Betila Dimhenuta Ila'a. He come and dwell with us in the shade of the Emuna Ila'a, elevated. In the shade of a Kadosh Buhu. So in the first night you say, Liul Avraham Rechima Abba Kadisha. Enter Avraham Avinu, the Father, the Holy Father. The Liuli men, together with him, should be invited. Yitzchak, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, and David. Second day, you'll invite specifically Yitzchak, and then you'll say, The Liulu Ime, enter with him also Avraham, Yaakov, Moshe, Aaron, Yosef, and David. Each and every day, you invite specifically that very guest, and with that they'll enter. And as I said before, that 
דה ספר, שלה הקדוש, אין יסוד ושורש העבודה, say that if you don't openly invite the guests, they don't come in. And who doesn't want to have such important guests in his house? In יסוד ושורש העבודה, he says, the one needs to learn about the Ushpezin Kaddishin and learn about the day on the Sukkah, and that is the honor of those Ushpezin. And one should read from the Sefer Azor about the Ushpezin. In Mate Ephraim it says that it's correct to learn Torah from those in your name of the Ushpezin Kaddishin, and as I said, it is written in the Zohar, and one should learn it inside or learn what uh, the translation of the Zohar is. Many of the Machzorim has those things written in it, and therefore one should get a copy of such a thing and learn about it and invite the Ushpezin, a very important and pleasurable opportunity to have such important guests.